penis. Penis. Yeah, I was talking about that with my granddaughter last night. What? Yeah, me and Indrani and Ashley, I was changing her little pull-up diaper thing before bed because she wanted Pop Pop to change it. Mm -hmm. And right as I pulled that off, she grabbed herself and said, penis. And we're like, no, that's your brother, sweetie. That's your vagina. And she's like, vagina. I said, yep. She was my penis. I had penis. Ashley's like, nope. You never had a penis, sweetheart. You just have a vagina. Cool. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid direction. It's Corbin. I have a penis. Who knows if what I have. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. <laughs> Thanks to Patreon, follow us, Twitter account, subscribe if you have the like button. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. Today we got a trailer. We do. Of a new series called Hush, Hush. Uh, comes out, uh, I think it's an Amazon uh, series. Uh, comes out this 22nd Makes of Makes no September. sense because they've not been talking about anything they're doing in India. I don't know why Amazon would have a series, do you? That's called sarcasm and wit, ladies and gentlemen. They had a huge, at the start of the year, advertisement for all of the stuff they're doing in India, and we're well aware of it. Everything has to have a disclaimer nowadays. I think it's starring Julie Chawa, though. So that's cool. Um... <laughs> um... And that is all I know about That's it. That's it? Yeah. That's all you know? That's all I know. It's called Hush Hush. Hush Hush. Which is what I want you to do all the time. Ha 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 ha! Comedy gold! Here we go. In life, what's going on in life? What you can't tell me. In Amiro's life, behind the scene, something else happens. Yes, that's why people in Amiro's life are behind the scene. That's why we're not behind the scene. Where's the fourth musketeer? Where's the fourth musketeer? She has a husband. I have a career. Nice. Nice trailer. Nice trailer. Also, I just saw a rating. Yeah, I did too. A, said for, a for adults. I guess that's a OTT that a, rating. Does India now have an OTT rating system? Please tell me the censors haven't gotten their hands on OTT. Uh, well, I heard something about them getting their hands I on OTT. I know it's trying. Um, if it's a rating system, which is different from censorship. Right. By the way, for people who get confused all the time that they think uh, America has censorship. We do not have censorship. Uh, we have a rating system. You can make whatever the fuck you want, but they're going to give it a rating. Make whatever you want, and it'll be released. But the Motion Picture Association gives it a rating so that everybody has guidance, as they should, as to whether or not they want to expose themselves or their kids to that kind of Which is content. It's totally fine. Nobody has anything wrong with that. Not at all. Uh, it's when you... the, the Motion Picture Association doesn't. They'll make recommendations. They'll tell, they'll tell a, a, a production company or a director, if you want the PG-13, you got to get rid of this. 
but you don't have to get rid of this. We'll just leave it as an R. So yeah. they don't touch the films. No. Uh, as opposed to like somebody saying, you need to remove this. Or we won't let your film yeah. be seen. Yeah. That's censorship. That's censorship and it is wrong. Um, so I don't know. You guys can let us know. I've, ne- I've just never seen the A for adult before, so I don't yeah, know what, uh, what that too. is. Me too. But cool trailer. Cool trailer. Uh, I, it said the from the makers of Jalsa, right? Yes. The one that just came out this year with yeah. uh, uh, Shafali. Yeah. Uh, it looked like a similar vibe. I love it. it the well done. It's, if they're setting us up for a mystery thriller, um, mystery crime, I also notice... I'm hoping you did too, and I hate that you have to say it, but we're still there because we're not fully transitioned to it just being what it is, but this is just led by women. This is just a ton of strong women characters leading the charge on what looks like is a very interesting series. I'd be very interested to watch this. It looks dark, like... uh, um and like, there's going to be a bunch of lots of secrets, lots of secrets, a lot of revelations, lots that are of jaw dropping, maybe some violence in there, uh, the lies and of five. even vigilante justice. I could sense that stuff was done, and they don't want certain people to know. The, li- um, the lies of five women intersect in an unexpected way when an unforeseen event unravels the facade of their lives. So it's like. Um, the the Real Housewives. But. Yeah, it's like the uh, Kim Kardashian sex tape. <laughs> I don't. Nope. That, I'm pretty sure that's uh, a porno. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, but you know the story behind that about the fact that that was not quote unquote leaked. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, that oh, was like yeah. fully produced and they made a lot of money off. Oh it. yeah, yeah. Um, and I think a lot of these. Obviously, I know Julie Chawa is a, a '90s star. Yeah, absolutely. And I think a couple of these other ones are as well. Uh, they were they were pretty big. I don't know who exactly. I think somebody told me that though. Um, Natish, because uh, she's the only one I recognize. Uh, casting doesn't say under it will under there filmmakers. It should say it under there. There we go. Prashant Singh. I was looking to see if Queen, uh, Queen Tiger Zinda High Tumbad. Tumbad. Nice. Uh, yeah, I think we've. Seen. Yeah, I'm very interested. Yeah, I would. Uh, what's Julie been up to? Has she been acting? In Divar, what? Uh, 2000 Miss. Uh, looks like looks like cameo. a couple of films a year. She, One or two films a year, she, maybe. A special appearance in a song here and there. She executive produced a short film. So she's still been. Still, still been, been doing working. one or two things a year. Okay. Uh, what about TV? Has she been working in TV? A mm, couple of episodes of a show here, one episode mm, there. 18, so, no. Um, anyways, super interesting. Love that Amazon's kind of, especially Amazon India. I mean, Amazon here is focused on Lord of the Rings. and <laughs> Yeah, that's just, it. They're just going to see how that does. Yeah. <laughs> or they're going to go bankrupt. <laughs> they're not going bankrupt. <laughs> it's Amazon. But, like, I love what they're doing with a whole bunch of different styles of OTT series. Yeah, me too. Bringing in different stars. I, can you imagine? Obviously, it's a, it's a totally different era but and different time. The mega star, Jui Chawa, in the 90s is now the lead in an OTT series. I love it. It's wonderful. Yeah. Because obviously, that's it, it shouldn't matter. And there, cause here in Hollywood, there's been no line between television and and um, TV for... Since cable. Yeah, for a while. Yeah. Uh, and so... Uh, I'm since, sure, since uh, well, a I'm, long time. I'm sure one day you'll see Leonardo DiCaprio in a series. Like, you're going yeah. to see these mega stars. I think the last time it was news... When someone left a TV show to go to film and it was like, ah, they're gone and they'll never come back was when George Clooney left ER. That's mm. the last time I remember it being news. Yeah. You'll go, you'll do like what Steve Carell did. He was in TV. He's like, I'm also going to do movies now, but he's still doing TV. There's, Everybody. It's because obviously the pay is the exact same now. There's, As is the quality of the artistry. Be, there might even be more because you get longer series and you get drawn out yep. ask Brian Cranston how much he made off Breaking Bad at the end. oh yeah they were making they're still making money yeah. off that thing they were making bank yep um, so it's wonderful maybe one day we'll see Shah Rukh Khan in no they're loving doing it like movie stars people people who don't need to be doing it are doing it because they love it like Colin Farrell's got a new TV series Colin Farrell doesn't need to do a TV series he can just choose whatever film he wants the rest of his life mm-hmm. but he wants to and he's exact producing it so uh, there's no reason why the thing I was wondering there's no difference I, 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 
There's no difference between like streaming TV. Right. There's a difference in cable. Between and and there's obviously a huge difference in what you can do on network television, especially when it comes to scripted dramas. Yeah. Network um, television is still not there, so you you still won't see megastars probably going there usually. Not to network. But Netflix, Amazon, uh, HBO, obviously. Yeah. But what were you going to say? No, I was going to say the one format that may exist, but we've learned literally nothing about when it comes to Indian artistry is the three camera sitcom. Mm. Is there one we should be watching? Because America has a very, very long history since I Love Lucy. I could rattle off 20 really, really famous three camera live audience sitcoms that y'all would know about but that's one format well, remade i made the office yeah th there's that's that's one format that i don't know of where it's like okay in india this show was our big three camera live comedy i know the the big like there was like a series or something Ma mahabharat that big historical epic um series um, but it was back in the Mah Mahabur. I, I'm mispronouncing. You guys, know yeah, I don't I'm know. Talking about it wasn't a, a three camera, but it was like a because based off Hindu lore, mm -hmm. mythology, whatever you call. I, I don't know what you call. It. You guys can tell me. I don't know, but that's the only one I know. Anyways, let us know what you think about this. Which be our next series when you get to another one here soon. Let us know down below. Just